Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about a recovery technique known as backup and restore. When to backup the data for to a main memory to a secondary storage and how to restore the data from this backup to the actual disk. As we know that the main memory disk sometimes fail due to many of the reasons. So in such a failure, the loss of data will not be a loss of data forever. We must take care of this issue to ensure about this solution. So we need to copy the data from this main memory disk to any secondary storage tape that is magnetic tape or any other hard disk. So whenever we are copying this data to the disk, then we can say that we are making an backup. And this retrieving and restoring the data is the matter of retrieving the data from the backup to the actual main disk or file. Now whenever we are copying the data from this disk to the backup, so we can say that we are copying the data again and again, that is not change. So the backup needs to access to the directory structure associated with each file to date that when is the last write of that particular file was made and when is the last backup that was made on that particular file. So then we can decide that till when the particular file was not being updated so that not to copy the file till that date. So the actually backup was already made to indicate that particular update and after that no backups or updations are made. A general rule of the schedule of the update and the backup is as follows. At day one we usually copy all the data associated with the file to the media that is used for backup and this type of backup is known as a full backup. And on day two we can copy all the files changed since day one. This is known as an incremental backup. At day 3, we should copy all the files changed since day 2. In such a way, in day n, we should copy all the files changed since day n minus 1. And then we go back to day 1. So, this copying of data can overwrite and writes in the set of the previous one or they can make update on a new set of the particular media. Now after backing up the data in such a way, restore becomes extremely easy by retrieving the data from the incremental backup. Now when the larger value of n, the greater number of the disk reads from this backup media. I say when we are having the 6 or 7 or at least a 1 month backup program, then every time the incremental backup needs to be read to actually restore the media from that position. An additional advantage of this backup cycle is that we can delete and retrieve an accidentally deleted data during the cycle by retrieving the data from the previous backup that was made previously that day. So in this way, the backup cycles can give us the important update about the particular data. Now whenever we're talking about backup and restore, then we must have to take care to ensure that all the files are restored in order. Say we are performing the order in such a way that they got sequentialized and asynchronized. So we must first synchronize these uses and then restore the data. So we do not need to copy all the data since it not have been updated. If it is updated and modified, then all the files we need to copy. So, or other than copying all the data to that actual file that needs all the data reads from that all the media of the backups, we can use a full backup after, then we can use the incremental backup. So, we are copying the data after the full backup was made. So, in this way, we can avoid the other backups other than that in incremental backups. Here we are using one incremental backup associated with a full backup to restore the particular media in order to reduce the disk seek time as well as the memory access time of that particular backing up and restoration system. A user may notice that a file gets lost or damaged a long time after it was corrupted. 
So in that case, we need to get full backup after a selected session that we can be done on that particular file system. If a full backup is then done after a periodic interval, then we can have all the files in the intact format that was previously updated. So here, in case of a fire that just wears out all the computer system, we can have the data that was already backed up previously between a gap of the full backup and an incremental backup. So this periodical full backup will help us if the computer system gets damaged, so from them we can have the actual data. Other than this type of physical damage, we have to also ensure that reusing the same media is not done because the comparison between the restore and this particular backup system can happen and the backup length is a compromise between the amount of the data needed to backup and the number of the reads that is being done to restore. So to reduce the number of the reads, we must compare this data that only the files that is being changed still the full backup is done, we are only updating the new backup media. So the reuse of the media, then the media will get wired out and we may not be able to actually restore any data because the media was lost or damaged. So these precautions must be taken care when we are talking about restoring the data from the backup. That is all for the backing up and restore of the recovery technique. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.